Windows 11 isn't the best looking operating system. Yes, it is a step forward from Windows 10, where Windows 11 introduces rounded corners, just like Mac OS, and center taskbar icons and start menu. However, a lot of you guys use this Windows as it is, without special modifications, with cluttered desktop and without minimal anesthetic looks. So with that said, I believe I have an answer to these issues. Buckle up and tighten your seat belts because in this video you will revamp your windows from this to this. One way to get rid of all your desktop clutter is to right click on your desktop, go to the view tab and here uncheck the option to show desktop icons. Then let's say if you have all these important files on your desktop. The, all these are your important documents for your work and then you can also cut all these files and File Explorer has all these preset uh, folders right here. So let's say you have the documents, you will go to the documents folder and you can easily paste all these documents into your documents folder inside of File Explorer. Or we can also say you don't have an important files on your desktop. You can also select all of your files right here and you can simply drag them into your recycle bin. Let's say that you also have a lot of applications which are being used for a couple of months on your start menu. Here what you want to do is to right click on your uh, unused application and uninstall it. And here you will click uninstall. However, you can also go to the settings right here, then you will go to the apps, you will go to the apps and features, and here you will also see a lot of applications which you can also manually uninstall. Here, select your unused application and click uninstall. Or another great way to get rid of applications on your start menu is to unpin them. Right click on your application and click unpin from start. If you also have a lot of applications which aren't being used on your taskbar, you can also unpin them. Or to hide Microsoft uh, applications or shortcuts on your taskbar, you will right click on your taskbar, then you will go to the taskbar settings, and here you have the taskbar items. Let's say you don't want to use chat applications or isn't useful for you. You can also turn this off turn off the widgets, also turn off desk view, and also the search. As you can see, taskbar is less cluttered. Then if you scroll down a bit to the taskbar behaviors, here you can select taskbar alignment. You can select to the left or back to the center if you are center-like person. Then you can also automatically hide your taskbar if you want to use this feature as well. Then on the bottom right, you also have some Windows application icons right here. What you want to do is go to the taskbar corner overflow. Here you can manually turn off all these icons. If you want to customize your windows, then you will go ahead into the settings of the windows and personalization tab. Here we have six themes you can choose from, three light themes and also three dark themes. Then if you want to change the background, you will navigate to the background tab in Windows settings. And here you will select, let's say, a picture. And then you will browse the photo. Let's say manually pick your preferred photo, something like that, and choose the picture. As you can see, wallpaper successfully changed. And also if you want to change accent color of the windows, here you can also do that as well under colors tab in personalization settings. Here you can select choose your um, Windows mode, currently it is set on dark, or you can also select it to the light. Or if you want to, you can also use custom option, which will enable you to change the dark mode or light mode as well. Then under accent color, here you can select the manual option, so to pick your preferred color of the accent color of the windows, or automatic mode, which Windows will actually pull or extract the color from the wallpaper to the Windows accent color itself. Then at the bottom, you can also show accent color on start and taskbar. As, as you can see, if I enable this feature, accent color will also apply on the taskbar and also on the start menu. 
if you feel adventurous, you can also use third-party software to customize your windows. For example, for the live wallpaper, I recommend free version of the wallpaper engine called Lively Wallpaper. Or you can also pay, I believe, $5 for the wallpaper engine itself. And for the widgets on our desktop, you can use Rainmeter tool, which will help you to actually put widgets on your desktop. For the clock on my desktop, I'm using Modular Clocks Rainmeter Skin, which I also made in-depth video about on my channel, so make sure to check it out. And for my media player widget on my desktop, I'm using Modular Player's Rainmeter Skin, and it's also compatible with Spotify, AMP, CAD, iTunes, Winamp, and also Windows Media Player. And for lock screen customization, I'm using Idle Style Rainmeter Skin. So most of you already probably know that Windows basic lock screen customization settings aren't enough. So here we have Idle Style Rainmeter Skin. So let me show you quickly in action. So if I go under Appearance, here I selected this style of the lock screen. And if I click right here to deactivate, this is how it should look. So I also made a in-depth video about this specific widget, so make sure to check it out. With that being said, now you have a static and minimal desktop. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and go watch my other videos. Peace!